Today we are going to talk about Warfarin Monitoring. Warfarin is uh, the brand, uh, actually it's the generic, and uh, the brand name uh, is usually Coumadin. Very, very widely used uh, as a blood thinner. Well, basically, uh, when somebody uh, has a condition that uh, requires their blood to be a little thinner than it is, they're put on this drug, and um, when they're put on this drug, they need to monitor how thin the blood actually is. And that uh, value is known as the INR. And INR is uh, measured uh, as a simple blood test. And that number basically tells you how uh, thin a person's blood is. Now let's talk a little bit about INR, or International Normalized Ratio. The normal number uh, in our bodies is about 1.0. Well, INR is calculated by the formula. It's the PT of the patient divided by the normal PT. ISI stands for uh, International Sensitivity Index. And PT is prothrombin time. So basically, this INR, this big long calculation, tells me in layman's terms how thin somebody's blood is. So the higher the number, the thinner the blood. So for example, if I took my INR, my INR is probably equal to 1 because I'm not on any blood thinners. I, I don't take uh, warfarin. But if I measure somebody's INR that's taking, let's say, warfarin 5 milligrams a day, their warfarin will make their blood thinner. So their INR might be 2.3. And that 2.3 means that it is thinner than the average uh, person. And when somebody's on Coumadin, uh, the goal, INR, between 2 and 3. And this is by far the most common goal, uh, INR. People can be on Coumadin for a variety of reasons. Um, they can be on Coumadin for uh, DVTs, uh, deep venous thrombosis. They can be on Coumadin because they had a PE, pulmonary embolism. Or they can be on Coumadin because they have AFib, atrial fibrillation. Duration of time they need to be on Coumadin, it varies anywhere from maybe three months all the way to lifetime, depending on what kind of condition they have. And most of the time, the goal INR is between 2 and 3. Once in a while, the goal INR is between 2.5 and 3.5. And that's, for example, for people that have mechanical heart valves, their, their goal INR is a bit higher because their blood needs to be a little bit thinner. So that's basically a short presentation tutorial about uh, warfarin and INR and how it's calculated.